Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> I would like to read from the book of Acts, chapter 9, today, as we do the invitation, verses 1 and 2. And this is a time when Saul was journeying on the road to Damascus to persecute the disciples of Christ. The disciples of Christ were identified as those of the way. And it reads, And Saul, yet breathing out threatenings and slaughter against the disciples of the Lord, went unto the high priest and desired of him letters to Damascus to the synagogues, that if he found any of this way, whether they were men or women, he might bring them bound unto Jerusalem. When I read that, I asked the question, how would Saul or any other non-believer identify the disciples of Christ today? Because the world has taken the various names representative of the disciples of Christ and has transformed it to mean something entirely different. In the New King James Version and also the New American Standard Version, the word the way, uh, the word way is capitalized. In the New American Standard Version, it says, found any belonging to the way. New King James Version states, found any who were of the way. And in today's society, we see that the word the way designates something other than the disciples of Christ. It's actually referred to a cult. What I find today is that many people or, or many names designated to the disciples of Christ has been misplaced to something worldly. In Acts chapter 9, we see the word saints applied to the disciples of Christ in many instances. It is, but today, you see it's referred to the national football team, or as silly as you may believe, uh, fictional character, Saint Nick. Uh, the word Christians, uh, which was also identified as the disciples of Christ in the book of Acts, in Acts chapter 11, 26, it says they were first called Christians at Antioch, uh, but today is also representative of many denominations and also many churches. But we read in the Bible that there is only one church. Uh, Jesus says in Matthew 16, 18, Jesus says, I will build my church, singular, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it, singular. Also, you know that in Acts chapter 2, 47, the Bible states that the Lord added to the church, deities such as should be saved, singular. One good thing to note is in Acts 2.42, it says, and they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and in fellowship. The good thing to note here is that what binds or what identifies the disciples of Christ is the apostles' doctrine and the word of God. I want you to read 2 Corinthians chapter 11, uh, beginning with verses 13 through 15. Because this is no surprise to the disciples of Christ, even in the New Testament age. For it reads, for such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. You see, just like there were apostles of Christ, there was also false apostles amongst them. And then it reads, and no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing that if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. When I was thinking about this lesson, I was thinking about uh, the uh, sunny delight. Uh, you know, it's really not real orange juice. Uh, and many people who like sunny delight don't have a taste for real orange juice. And I found out that, you know, basically it's just imitation orange juice. But we see here when it comes to the disciples of Christ, there's a warning in 2 Peter chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. 2 Peter chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. And it reads, but there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in destructive heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring up upon themselves a swift destruction. You see, what the purpose of the false disciples of Christ, or false prophets and false teachers and false prophets, is that they want to 
privately bring in damnable or destructive doctrines, and he will even deny the Lord. But therein, the Bible says, will be a swift destruction. And then it reads, and many will follow their destructive ways, because of whom the way of truth will be blasphemed. And their purpose is to, desert, is to transform the disciples of Christ and even win true disciples of Christ away from God's word, where we would even be at a point to evil, evil, evil speak of God's word. The lesson of today's uh, invitation is you must read the label or the ingredients before applying the designation. Sun delight is not real orange juice. Everyone who profess to be Christians are not real Christians, just as those of the way or who proclaim to be of the way are not really of the way. Jesus says in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. If you would like to be a true disciple of Christ, you can do so today by following the pattern of the disciples of the New Testament scriptures, by hearing the word, believing, repenting of your sins, confessing Jesus is the Son of God, and being baptized for the remission of your sins, and you can be added to the church today. And also, if you would like to request prayers of the church, you can do so at the appropriate time after we sing the song of invitation.